Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting video where I'll discuss the job description, the resume and the salary trends of a machine learning engineer. So as you know we are living in the worlds of humans and machines. In today's world these machines or the robots have to be programmed before they start following your instructions. But what if the machine started learning on its own from their experience, work like us and feel like us and do things more accurately than us? Now, well here's where a machine learning engineer comes into picture to make sure everything is working according to the procedures and the guidelines. Now in my opinion machine learning is one of the most recent and exciting technologies there is. You probably use it a dozen of times every day without even knowing it. So before we indulge into the different roles, the salary trends and what should be there on the resume of a machine learning engineer while applying for a job, let's understand who exactly a machine learning engineer is. So machine learning engineers are sophisticated programmers who develop machines and systems that can learn and apply knowledge without specific direction. Artificial intelligence is the goal of a machine learning engineer. They are computer programmers but their focus goes beyond specifically programming machines to perform specific tasks. They create programs that will enable machines to take actions without being specifically directed to perform those tasks. Now if we have a look at the job trends of a machine learning engineer, so as you can see in Seattle itself we have 2000 jobs, in New York we have 1100, in San Francisco we have 1100, in Bengaluru, India we have 1100 and then we have Sunnyvale, California where we have 500 number of jobs. So as you can see the number of jobs in the market is too much and probably with the emergence of machine learning and artificial intelligence this number is just going to get higher. Now if we have a look at the job opening salary wise percentage. So we can see for the $90,000 per annum bracket we have 32.7 percentage and that's the maximum. So be assured that if you get a job as a machine learning engineer you'll probably get around 90,000 bucks a year. That's safe to say. Now for the $110,000 per year we have 25%, $120,000 we have 20% almost. Then we have $130,000 which are the senior machine learning engineers that's a 13.67 percent and finally we have the most senior machine learning engineer or we have the data scientists here which have the salary of $140,000 per annum and the percentage for that one is really low. So as you can see there is a great opportunity for people who are trying to go into machine learning field and get started with it. So let's have a look at the machine learning engineer salary. So the average salary in the US is around $111,490 and the average salary in India is around 7,19,646 rupees. That's a very good average salary for any particular profession. So moving forward if we have a look at the salary of an entry level machine learning engineer. So the salary ranges from $76,000 or $77,000 to $151,000 per annum. That's a huge salary and if you talk about the bonus here we have like $3,000 to $25,000 depending on the work you do and the project you are working on. Let's talk about the profit sharing now. So it's around $2,000 to $50,000. Now this again depends upon the project you are working, the company you are working for and the percentage that they give to the engineer or the developer for that particular project. Now the total pay comes around $76,000 or $75,000 to $162,000. And this is just for the entry level machine learning engineer. Just imagine if you become an experienced machine learning engineer, your salary is going to go through the roof. So now that we have understood who exactly is a machine learning engineer, the various salary trends, the job trends in the market and how it's rising. Let's understand what skills it takes to become a machine learning engineer. So first of all we have programming languages. Now uh, programming languages are a big deal when it comes to machine learning because you don't just need to have proficiency in one language. You might require proficiency in Python, Java, R or C++. Because you might be working in a Hadoop environment where you require Java programming to do the map reduce codings and Sometimes R is very great for visualization purposes and Python as you know is one of the favorite languages when it comes to machine learning. Now next skill that a particular individual needs is calculus and statistics. So a lot of machine learning algorithms are mostly maths and statistics so and a lot of statistics is required majorly the matrix multiplication and all. So a good understanding of calculus as well as statistics is required. 
now next we have signal processing now advanced signal processing is something that will give you an upper edge over other machine learning engineers if you are applying for a job anywhere now the next skill we have is applied maths as i mentioned earlier many of the machine learning algorithms here are purely mathematical formulas so a good understanding of maths and how the algorithm works will take you far ahead now next on our list we have neural networks now neural networks are something that has been emerging quite popularly in the recent years and due to its efficiency and the extent to which it can work and get the results as soon as possible neural networks are a must for a machine learning engineer now moving forward we have language processing so a lot of times machine learning engineers have to deal with text data the voice data as well as video data now processing any kind of language audio or the video is something that a machine learning engineer has to do on a daily basis so one needs to be proficient in this area also now these were only some of the few skills which are absolutely necessary i would say for any machine learning engineer so let's now discuss the job description or the roles and responsibilities of a particular machine learning engineer now depending on their level of expertise machine learning engineers may have to study and transform data science prototypes they need to design machine learning systems they also need to research and implement appropriate machine learning algorithms and tools as it's a very important part of the job they need to develop new machine learning application according to the industry requirements they need to select the appropriate data sets and the data representation methods because if there is a slight deviation in the data set and the data representation that's going to affect the model a lot they need to run machine learning tests and experiments they need to perform statistical analysis and fine tuning using the test results so sometimes people ask what exactly is the difference between a data analyst and a machine learning engineer so so statistical analysis is just a small part of a machine learning engineer's job whereas it is a major part or it probably covers a large part of a data analyst job rather than a machine learning engineer's job so machine learning engineers might need to train and retrain the systems whenever necessary and they also need to extend the existing machine learning libraries and frameworks to their full potential so that they could make the model work superbly and finally they need to keep abreast of the developments in the field needless to say that any machine learning engineer or any particular individual has to stay updated to the technologies that are coming in the market and every now and then a new technology arises which will overthrow the older one so you need to be up to date now coming to the resume part of a machine learning engineer so any resume of a particular machine learning engineer should consist like clear career objective the skills which a particular individual possesses the educational qualification certain certification the past experience if you are an experienced machine learning engineer the projects which you have worked on and that's it so let's have a look at the various elements that are required in a machine learning engineer's resume so first of all you need to have a clear career objective so here you need not stretch it too much and keep it as precise as possible so next we have the skills required and these skills can be technical as well as non technical so let's have a look at the various technicals and the non technical skills out here so starting with the technical skills first of all we have programming languages as in r java python and c++ but the first and the foremost requirement is to have a good grip on any programming languages preferably python as it is easy to learn and its applications are wider than any other language now it is important to have a good understanding of topics like data structures memory management and classes although python is a very good language it alone cannot help you so you will probably have to learn all these languages like c++ r python java and also work on mapreduce at some point of time now next on our list we have calculus and linear algebra and statistics so you'll need to be intimately familiar with matrices the vectors and the matrix multiplication so statistics is going to come up a lot and at least make sure you are familiar with gaussian distribution mean standard deviations and much more so you also need to have a firm understanding of probability and stats to understand the machine learning models now next as i mentioned earlier it's signal processing techniques so feature extraction is one of the most important parts of machine learning different types of problems need various solutions so you may be able to utilize the really cool advanced signal processing algorithms such as wavelets 
shearlets, curvelets, and the bandlets. So try to learn about the time frequency analysis and try to apply it to your problems as it gives you an upper edge over other machine learning engineers. So just go for it. Now next we have mathematics and a lot of machine learning techniques out there are just fancy types of function approximation. Having a firm understanding of algorithm theory and knowing how the algorithm works is really necessary. And understanding subjects like gradient descent, convex optimization, quadratic programming, and partial differentiation will help a lot. Now neural networks, as I was talking earlier, so we need machine learning for tasks that are too complex for humans to code directly. So that is the tasks that are so complex that it is impractical. The neural networks are a class of models within the general machine learning literature. They are a specific set of algorithms that have revolutionized machine learning. Deep neural networks have proven to work quite well and neural networks are themselves general function approximations, which is why they can be applied to almost any machine learning problem out there and they help a lot about learning a complex mapping from the input to the output space. Now next we have language processing. Since natural language processing combines two of the major areas of work that are linguistic and computer science and chances are at some point you are going to work with either text or audio or the video. So it's necessary to have a control over libraries like GenSim, NLTK and techniques like word to vec sentimental analysis and text summarization. Now voice and audio analysis uh, involves extracting useful information from the audio signals themselves. Being well versed in maths and concepts like Fourier transformation will get you far in this one. Now these were the technical skills that are required. But be assured that there are a lot of non-technical skills also that are required to land a good job in a machine learning industry. So first of all you need to have an industry knowledge. So the most successful machine learning projects out there are going to be those that address real pain points. Don't you agree? So whichever industry you are working for, you should know how that industry works and what will be beneficial for the industry. Now, if a machine learning engineer does not have business acumen and the know-how of the elements that make up a successful business model, all those technical skills cannot be channeled productively. You won't be able to discern the problems and the potential challenges that need solving for the business to sustain and grow. Now next on our list we have effective communication and now this is one of the most important parts in any job requirement. So you'll need to explain machine learning concepts to people with little to no expertise in the field. The chances are you will need to work with a team of engineers as well as many other teams like marketing and the sales team. So communication is going to make all of this much easier. Companies searching for a strong machine learning engineer are looking for someone who can clearly and fluently translate their technical findings to a non-technical team. Now rapid prototyping is another skill which is very much required for any machine learning engineer. So iterating on ideas as quickly as possible is mandatory for finding the one that works. In machine learning this applies to everything from picking the right model to working on projects such as A-B testing and much more. Now you need to do a group of techniques used to quickly fabricate a scale model of a physical part or assembly using the three-dimensional computer aided design which is the CAD data. Now coming to the final skills which will be required for any machine learning engineer is to keep updated. Now you must stay up to date with any upcoming changes. Every month new neural network models come out that outperform the previous architecture. It also means being aware of the news regarding the development of the tools, theory and algorithms through research papers, blogs, conference videos and much more. Now another part of any machine learning engineer's resume is the educational qualification. So a bachelor's or a master's degree in computer science or IT, economics, statistics or even mathematics can help you land a job in machine learning. Plus if you are an experienced machine learning engineer, so probably some standard company certifications will help you a lot by landing a good job in machine learning. And finally coming to the professional experience, you need to have experience in computer science, statistics, data analysis. If you are switching from any other profession to a machine learning engineer or if you have a previous experience in machine learning that is very well. Now finally if we talk about the projects. So you need to have not just any project that you have worked on. You need to have working on machine learning related projects that involve a certain level of AI and working on neural networks to a certain degree to land a good job as a machine learning engineer.
Now, if we have a look at the companies hiring machine learning engineers, so every other company is looking for a machine learning engineers who can modify their existing model to something that need not need much more of maintenance and can self-sustain. So basically working on artificial intelligence and new algorithms that can work on their own is what every company desires. So Amazon, Facebook, we have tech giants like Microsoft, IBM. Again, in the gaming industry, we have or the GPU industry, graphics industry, we have NVIDIA. In banking industry, we have JP Morgan Chase. Again, we have LinkedIn and also we have Walmart. So all of these companies require machine learning engineer at some part of the time. So be assured that if you are looking for a machine learning engineer post, every other companies, be it a big shot company or even the new startups are looking for machine learning engineers. So be assured you will get a job. Now with this, we come to an end of this video. So I hope you got a good understanding of who exactly a machine learning engineer is, the wages, job trends, the salary trends, what are the skills required to become a machine learning engineer? And once you become a machine learning engineer, what are the roles and responsibilities or the job description? What appears to be on the resume or the job description? What appears to be on the job application of any machine learning engineers? And also, I hope you got to know how to prepare your resume or how to prepare it in a correct format and what all to keep there in the resume, the career objectives the skills, the technical and non-technical, previous experience, education, qualification, and certain projects which are related to it. So that's it, guys. Edureka, as you know, provides a machine learning engineer master's program. Now that is aligned in such a way that will get you acquainted in all the skills that are required to become a machine learning engineer and that too in the correct format. So do check it out, guys. And if you have any queries related to this video, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll revert to it as soon as possible. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!